Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Here we are on Monday. First of all, I really, really appreciate all of you, the hundreds of you that send me emails based upon last Friday's Tune-Up. I guess there's a lot of you that like these, a lot of you that think these are important to you. And not to worry, we're going to just keep them up. Today, I want to talk to you about the direction of your life. We all have to think about that. We all have to think about the direction we're going and what's going on in our life. Keep in mind, we can go one way or the other way. And sometimes we're not so sure which way really to go. The way you're going to know which direction to go in your life. And what I'm talking about is sometimes things come up and we want that friendly advice. We want to ask someone else what they think we ought to do. And here's the danger in that. Someone else is not walking in your shoes. Someone else's complex equivalency or the way they view the world is much different than yours. They can create a fatal error for you if they give you one answer and you really could have gone another way because your potential is much different than theirs. So what we want to learn how to do, first of all, is to relax. Just relax. The more relaxed we are, the smarter we are. Always remember to take those virus words out of our language as well. The why, the try, the need, the but, should, don't, hope. Because those words cause us to go into a fight or flight process, which really makes us a little stupider. This week, let's really pay attention to what's going on in our life and the direction we're presently going. And remember, one of the things we can do is understand our life is much like a boat going into into a harbor, there's little markers all along that channel where it's deep enough for the boat to float and they have to follow those markers. Our markers come to us with feelings. And if we're moving in a direction that feels comfortable, keep moving until it feels uncomfortable. That's the point where you want to stop and you want to think about and analyze which direction should I go and can I go. And we want to decide rather than shoulding to go one direction, let's choose to go a direction. Let's decide, well, if I go that way, it would feel like this. If I go this way, it would feel like this. And sometimes the good feeling always isn't the direction we have to go. It's the sure-footed feeling. The one which we kind of have that hunch, that's the direction we ought to go, but really this is the way I want to go. Like when you want to go buy something, you think, well, I probably ought not to buy it. However, I'm going to anyway. And then disaster happens because your budget runs a little short. That's exactly how we go in a direction in our life. We have to pay attention to those moments. When those moments come, stop and start looking at each direction and view your options and notice how it feels inside. That feeling is going to tell you the direction to go. Go until it's uncomfortable again. Stop. Reanalyze. And sometimes our path to success is a little bit back and forth. It's never a straight line. Let's work on that this week. Let's act exactly like we know right where we're going until we get there. And then that's when we stop rather than just keep plunging through it and really, really notice how we feel about the options that we have. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary. Thank you for watching. Pass this on to someone else. And remember... Whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way you're going to be right. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.